Hello and welcome to AOR Season 16 Round 6 and it takes us to everyone's favourite track, Monaco, um, here. Um, and um, yeah, coming into this I've had um, quite a few good results, even so Spain was um, quite a sort of um, harder race for um, myself. I mean, I was probably near the top 10 and um, unfortunately after I sort of pit under the virtual safety car, um, me and Reborn's destroy were sort of in the middle of nowhere. And um, yeah, we just weren't able to make our way um, through the field like we thought. So um, yeah, that was a bit disappointing. But apart from that, we've had a few good results. Um, even so, I don't really like this game too much um, compared to the other games. But um, yeah, that having said, I, I am still committed to these leagues for the time being. Um, but yeah, you can see as well, um, here's my first qualifying lap around Monaco. And um, yeah, I wasn't expecting much at all. Um, I think me and Jaeger were sort of um, hell-bent that we are going to be starting right at the back. And we had a 20-man lobby today. So I was really trying to not qualify last, but I wouldn't be too disappointed if I did. Because, um, I mean, I know I complain about this all too often, but um, there is a real, real privilege on Monaco. It's something like a second and a half. Um, you cannot compete. I, I watched Jaeger's lines, and they were pretty perfect. But um, the likes of Edge, it is a faster racer, I'd say. Um, was still able to get much faster. But you see, I set a time, and um, yeah, it wasn't actually, didn't even get me the top 14, as you can see there. Edge in the end, dominant around this track once again. He's been absolutely amazing this season, and a 108.1, which is at least two and a half seconds of what I'd done, uh, faster than what I'd done in time trials. He's an absolute god around this track. Heiko as well, of course, he had a good few results, for example, like a podium um, at um, Bahrain, but he's also got P2 in qualifying here, just had a shroud, and of course, um, the two S ranked. Um, Skirda and Kareka, 5th and 6th. So, of course, Edge commanding lead up front in the championship. But, of course, um, that could easily change if he gets one bad result. So, he needs to keep consistently being at the front if he wants to hold that lead. But, yeah, Edge totally looking like he's completely changed after last season, of course, when he was sort of in the midfield a bit. Um, a, bit a bit less... Um, considering he had the fastest time trials, I think, for season 15, he wasn't doing as well as maybe um, I thought he would. But this season, he's come back much stronger and he's doing a brilliant job so far. Um, so, yeah, here we are now for the five lights. You can see it's going to be actually a um, one stop in the end. Um, so the ultra stops are starting right in the back, 20th place. You see my teammate actually um, slows down as well. So, it's a Red Bull back row. So, a bit like the opposite of what you'd see in um, Monaco. You'd see Holby as well. Um, he's normally actually quite near the front. He's also towards the back. But we're just going to take it quite casually through these first two corners. Jaeger as well qualifying P17, which I think is his worst qualifying as well of all time. So, um, yeah, the pad run is really struggling around here. As you can see, that's Gorkikui on in the wall. So, I've already gained the position off the um, start, but that was to be expected. Of course, cool. so when you start in the midfield, you, there's always going to be at least one person who um, is probably going to get taken out into turn one. And um, there's going to be more um, in the coming laps. As you can see, JCP now into the wall. He's had a, um, he's actually um, in the midfield. Um, I think he's just ahead of us in the championship. But he's been doing well this season, so that's a shame. But you can see as well, five people in the pits this lap. And that was kind of came as no surprise. There's two more people are in the pits this lap. But that should be the end of it. Um, of course, as people start, start to spread out. Because of the varying appearance, um, sort of varying... Um, Abilities of people around this trap. You see Jaeger's actually retired. Um, he, I think he was one of the people who actually involved in incidents on lap one And I think he just had enough. I don't blame him really. This is hell to do 30 laps on the pad But I, I just wanted to finish. I knew I was going to be the last on track um, As you can see we're already nearly getting overtaken by P release who had to pit on lap one for damage So that's how slow we are around this track and Mo Monaco Definitely does have the biggest discrepancy between skill because of course you have to be really skillful to nail every single corner I just don't think I'm that good at this game in order to um, sort of nail it to the as I showed, take a really bad entry, hitting the outside wall, and I'm driving like an absolute moron right now, which is quite embarrassing considering I've played this game, uh, I've been playing these games for quite a long time, but I just have the skill on this game to compete with these guys, um, so, yeah, once again, just having to come into the pits, and it's been quite depressing the last few weeks, really, um, I mean, I had a really good result in Bahrain in both leagues, and then since then, um, it's just really gone downhill, um, especially at THL China, which is my favourite track, but yeah, I mean, it's a shame there's not been much rain, because I think rain is the only place where um, the controller is actually equal, if not slightly better still, than the wheel. Um, of course, you saw last season in, actually two seasons ago in AOR, um, Richie B was much faster than me in the dry, I think at least a second and a half clear of me um, in our championship fight, but whenever it came into the wet, it was literally two and a half seconds the other way, so um, the wet really suits the pad. Um, I can't say that about many things. But you can see already um, a few more people pit. Um, we actually ended up pitting as well because we had a bit of damage, as you saw from earlier. And um, already we're coming under attack from Aurea, who's on the Hypersofts. We are on the Supers, but um, yeah, he's catching us quite quickly as we um, try to ride the curves. I tried to take as much on the track as possible, but actually that's actually one of the better corners, I'm going to say. Hooked it up quite nicely, but 
I've seen other people's lines. They were just hitting that consistently every lap. And we were getting quite a lot of penalties at this rate. It's Aurea. There's a good move up our red sides. Um, probably the only, one of the only places you can make the move. Breaking very late. And of course, um, we can't really get a switch back on that corner. But I wasn't really going to fight him. He's on the Hypersofts. Um, but yeah, at this point, it was just people queuing up to overtake me. I was literally a roadblock. As you can see, Kan's going to rejoin side by side of her, us. And I sort of hold up side of Hussein a bit. Because um, Kan's actually comes out ahead of us. And so, uh, we're actually going to go wide. Um, we're going to... He's off the throttle. Let him pass. Um, we're not really battling anyone. Um, my aim with this race was just to finish. I didn't really want to hold anyone up. Um, he was just, I mean, I knew it was going to be painful. Um, I, I wasn't expecting anything from this race. I knew I wouldn't enjoy it, but I just wanted to finish it. Um, because of course, um, you can get points for finishing, but as well, I just wanted to know I could finish this track on this game. I mean, I did it, I think both leagues in 2017, but this game is much harder for me. Um, in terms of the traction, you get overtaken by Sanem Hussein again, who I think pitted, so you have that um, um, you have that bad pace. But you can see we're actually ahead of our teammates still, who's struggling just as much as us, so we actually clipped the wall. And um, you can see behind us, we've already got, we're already getting lapped. Um, I forgot to show Heiko lapping me, um, because of course Edge unfortunately did retire a few laps ago, um, which is really disappointing. He's actually going to throw the championship right open, and Heiko now dominant out front, but Shroud P2. Of course, we let him pass, but yeah, I forgot to comment on that. And we know we let Aurea pass, and he's not even a lap down. So he just let my teammate and Aurea through, and now we're 13th out of 13th, where we were 11th. So it's pretty embarrassing there. As you can see, actually, unfortunately, P-Release, I think, is out of the race, because um, I think he's been overtaken by Karnak. And you see, we actually overtake him as well. So we're down to 12 runners. And, um, yeah, I mean, already, um, it seems to be a race of attrition. There's now we're holding up um, Kareka, unfortunately. I couldn't really let him pass here, so I'm going to try to let him pass... And this, but you see I run wide, I'm actually going to try to go to the inside. But you see he actually goes the same direction as us, he cags us. So I hope he didn't get damaged there, because I was just trying to get out of his way. But um, again, I, I thought I did the right thing, trying to get off the racing line. But I may have done a bit too late. Um, as we get more damage, um, we've got DRS broken, but that doesn't really make a difference. And um, yeah, now we've got red front wing damage. And into the pits again. Um, so yeah, talking about really the championship battle with Edge. Um, was looking dominant up front again, but now he's um, actually um, crashed. Heiko now looks dominant out front. And I think he's been a dark horse this season, really. I mean, of course, he had a good result in Bahrain, but um, I was—I actually thought I had a better chance of a podium than him in that race. But, of course, he came through really well at the end. And um, in this race as well, he's been doing brilliant. So, maybe he is a dark horse for the championship, um, especially with the likes... I mean, Schwalbe is doing well this race, but he hasn't done... He hasn't actually managed to finish many of the races. Of course, he is probably, if not the um, fastest guy in the league, along with Edge. Um, but... Of course, it's just about some consistency, especially around tracks like Monaco. So you get another three-second penalty, and once again, I've lost count. I don't think it's quite as many as last season with the uh, back tyre against the wall. I don't think it's quite as many as last season. I think we've got like seven penalties in this race, but um, it's pretty impossible because I mean, on the pad, once you commit to a corner, um, if you're gonna if you're gonna hit a wall, you can't really change it. It's not like on the wheel where you can sort of alter your angle. You can gradually turn in. Um, we have a 90 degree steering angle on the pad, so if you commit, you commit, as you can see, unfortunately. Schwab gets past us, but then I'm um, sort of crashing into the wall. This is a bit of wing damage, so that might actually upset, um, be a setback in him trying to finish in the top two. As Karnak's now at the race, and um, yes, yeah, since taking the championship lead, he's been cursed, really. I mean, he had that brilliant win in Bahrain after calling the strategy to perfection, uh, but since then, he's just had, he's just really fallen apart, um, unfortunately, and um, yeah... Um, as a result, um, he's actually going to slip, I think, to P5 in the championship. And if we're not careful, he might slip as well. As you let more people through. And you see we're 10th out of 10th. Um, and again, we've got a bit more front wing damage. I don't know what from this time, but this is like our third or fourth pit stop. It's getting a bit repetitive now, but it is Monaco. I think I had five or six pit stops in, 20, um, in season 14. So I'm not surprised that I'm having this many in this game. Because this game's even worse for me. Even so, you can actually take the lows happen this time. I think in 2017, you had to quarter cut that corner in order to get it turned. I think there still is an element of that on the pads um, to actually get it turned in. But you can see, um, they're actually going to emerge um, just behind Aurea and Saddam Hussein. And yeah, they are 8th and 9th. And we're a lap down. And this is really humiliating. I mean, to be a lap down on the leaders um, is fine. Because, I mean, I wasn't expected to be up near the front on the pads on my least favourite track. But to be lapped by... Um, yeah, to be lapped by an 8th and 9th place, um, to be lapped by everyone is pretty embarrassing. And I think it's something I only really see at Monaco. Uh, I mean, and yeah, and that just adds insult to injury. I mean, I wanted to finish at this point. I just wanted to get one point, if anything. But no, we turned in a bit too early. But as you see, I mean, once I turned in, I couldn't do anything. I just had to watch as my car pillowed into the wall. 
Um, so yeah, that is me out the race. And um, this is just like a fun little clip I saw right at the end of the race. Uh, this is the battle for P2 between Reborn Destroyer and Schwab. So Schwab did overtake Reborn Destroyer. Um, actually, um, the, I love him. He let him pass because he was an actually a legitimate move. But you can see on the final corner, he actually gets Reborn Destroyer. Unfortunately, we'll have actually a few penalties. So Reborn will actually retake the position. But I just thought that was a brilliant move for Schwab. Uh, but Reborn as well, considering he was only on one point, he did so well to actually um, get 18 points from this race. So brilliant race for him. And you can see he actually jumps up all the way to actually P11 in the championship. Meanwhile, you can see Edge still has a lead, but Kareka and Heiko, P2 and 3, um, just had a um, JCP, who still is 4th and 5th. Um, with Karnak, even so both of them didn't score and Schwalm of course moves up a few positions of his own um, up front you can see Toro Rosso, Ferrari and Renault all really close as we slip to P5 now as Krekas, um Force India actually overtake us but yeah that's going to um, be that um, with the constructors and um, the driver's standings um, but yeah as we actually go on to the race results you can see Heiko in the end wins over Reborn Destroyer, Schwalm P3 Koreka ever consistent in P4 of course after winning China, Horvi from 18th to 5th, so I think he uses a controller, because he did qualify right at the back, so if he finished, I mean, he needs to clarify this with me, but if he legitimately finished in the top 5 of a controller, that guy deserves a round of applause, I'm not saying I'm good by any stretch, but I'm saying this track is hard on the controller, um, so yeah, that's going to be it, and see you all next time.